Hello, hello. Welcome everyone. My name is Anastasia. I'm a personal trainer with six years of experience and I'm also advanced stretching coach. For today's stretching class, we will need a yoga blocks, we will need a resistance band or dressing gown belt or leather belt or yoga belt, whatever you guys have. Then we'll need a chair later on in a class. So we're going to focus today on our uh, hips, groin area and also upper body as well. As usual, we start with a little warm up, sort of dynamic stretches just to get our body uh, in the mood for stretching and also very, very important, never stretch, I mean proper stretch, long stretch on a cold muscle. So your body should be nice and warm. Ideally, if you guys done workout or run uh, prior doing this class, but we're still gonna do a little warm up as well. Okay, so nice shoulder roll to start. Just to get those joints going, moving around. Forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Reaching sideways, gently reaching sideways, chest facing the camera. Okay, and a little bit further, five, four, three, two, and we change to other direction, sideways, go, go, perfect, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fabulous. Just watch the surroundings. Go whole circles with your arms all the way forward, all the way backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Gentle, tiny twists side to side, side to side. Good. Once you feel you can go a little bit further, go for it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so circles with your knees. You go one by one, drawing little circles here and there. <laughs> you might hear in some clicking, which is totally normal because our hips are getting so tight and never move sideways if you think about it we're walking back and forth we're running so once we change the angle it's all the clicking going on so we need to make sure we're working on this hips mobility we need to rotate them because originally this is um, our hip uh, hip joint is a socket joint which means looks like this and your hip is in there and it can actually rotate 360 same as our shoulder joint so that's little surprise for you so our lifestyle making us feel tight and uncomfortable when we move in our hips sideways but originally we were made to do full-on <laughs> circle okay and done all right i'm gonna get you in a plie um, squat plie stance plie or some more knees out toes out and we're just gonna go for gentle up and down squats again this is all just part of our warm-up to get our muscles and joints ready for the stretch mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and we're gonna stay at the bottom, arms on top of your knees, bring your shoulder forward and push against your legs. Okay, change again, uh, the shoulder forward. And again. Really nice back stretch here and one more time. 
awesome okay so i'm gonna get you in a, a lower position so we're gonna go into lunge so also one uh, one more item you might uh, want to use is a cushion little tiny tiny cushion from your sofa this is for your knee when you're gonna go in a lunge position if you got sensitive knees like i do i will use a cushion or in my case i'll just wrap uh, the mat in a couple layers yeah so this is our starting position here nice shoulder roll if you want to use blocks by your side for the balance go for it so forward and back forward and back so this is your hip flexor stretch here and your hamstring stretch here so every time you go you go a little bit lower this is our dynamic warm-up drills mm -hmm. Four and three and two and one. Good job. You're gonna switch sides. Long step forward, knee in line with your heel, and you go back and forth as low as you can. Every time a little bit lower. You might notice that one side is a bit tighter than another in my case this is left and i know i need to work on that a bit more because once you got tight muscles around your hips then you feel your lower back pain as well so that's my case always left side also so slowly getting it fixed filming more workouts like this yep perfect nice work all right so now i'm gonna get you sitting down uh, it's called butterfly mobility butterfly stretch your feet together knees up and down just like a fly like a bird mm -hmm. good five four three two and one good job and now we're just gonna with my right hand i'm just gonna lean at the back and with my left i'm gonna push my knee down mm -hmm. switch sides so my left hand at the back my right hand pushing my right knee down Okay, now I'm gonna place my elbows on top of my knees. And it's sort of this kind of moment when you wanna open those uh, hips here. Yeah? So you wanna really like open those legs out. So you apply as much pressure as you can, leaning a little bit forward. You might be sitting here. Another little tip, if you're uncomfortable in this position and your knees literally very close by, you might wanna use this cushion, put it under your bum. Or again, roll the mat and sit on the mat. So you need to elevate your hips a little bit. Okay? Right, you're gonna open it up, open those knees, try to push them down, and you just stay in this position and do a few big breaths in. Mm -hmm. If you got any anyone nearby you can ask them gently gently push your middle back a little bit while you're in this position to give you extra push just be careful if it's a kid they can go really hard really quick it's a gentle moving forward open up those hips for another five four three two and one good job done legs back together okay so now we're gonna get again into kneeling position but this time we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go sideways right so again cushion if you need for your knee and leg go sideways right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sit back and come back up 
right? So you sit back on your heel and come back up. So my knee facing you, my toes facing you as well, or maybe slightly 45 degrees, just comfortable position. Right, and I'm just sitting back as low as I can. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good, and squeeze at the front. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good, two more. Last one. Right, let's switch sides. Okay, I'm gonna extend one leg. Another one is on my chin. Mm -hmm. Sit back as low as you can, bring it set back in. So it's sort of hinging. Yep, see, hinging, leaning forward. So you should be feeling stretch in those inner thighs. Mm -hmm. Very well. Great, three to go. And two. So much clicking going on. And last one. Amazing. Okay, legs back together. Maybe you want to sit on your heels. All right. So we're going to continue with sort of waking up our hips. I'm going to get you into this. How you call it? Lotus, yeah. Yogi position. I'm not really good with yoga. I do just stretching. It's different discipline. <laughs> Very similar though. Okay, so legs across like this. Again, if you're not comfortable, you might want to sit on a cushion. It shouldn't be uncomfortable. Everything you do today, slightly challenging, but not like crazy painful because this, even this position can cause already so much tightness. So if it's too much, maybe loosen up a bit and also sit on a cushion. So from this position, I got my right leg at the top. I'm gonna go for gentle walk out forward and walk back. And again, gentle walk out. Hold for a second, walk back. And again. Nice, nice, nice little stretch here. Your breaths. And walk back. We do one more time and I'm gonna stay there for 10 seconds. Walk as far as you can get in this position. Keep your back straight so you think about your belly going down rather than your forehead. Just hold it there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Walk back. Okay, and I'm gonna put my leg, left leg at the top. Again, few walkouts, but now I think. Oh, yes, no, my left one. You see? Left one wants some attention for sure. So, depends on different factors. You might have one side tighter than another one. For example, if you athlete and your sport including using the right side more, I don't know if you play pool or if you play football, so then if you're working leg, it will be much tighter because obviously it's more muscle there and they're all tight from working out and using it for the game. Another reason could be that you sleep on one side longer. That will be tighter. We got one more wall walkout and we hold it there. And also when we lean on one side, you know, you should notice when you sit down in office, you got one leg across. So one leg is stretched, another one is tight. So that's multiple factors for one side being tighter than another. All you need to do just to make sure you definitely have stretching sessions included in your workout routine or in your life routine. It's so, so important. We need to stretch 
regardless if you do gym or do sport because if you think walking and picking up bags is workout as well right? three two and one walk back good job Whew, and not yourself awesome so i'm gonna give our legs a bit of a break i'm gonna move on to our upper body one of my favorite stretches for um, for upper back so i'm gonna use this block put it between my legs but you don't have to this is just to make sure those knees are stuck together you can do this as well yeah block here then i'm gonna lie down on the side relax here and i got both hands in front of me my head rested on the floor so with this front uh, with the top arm i'm gonna draw a circle and you see my eyes are following 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 until you finish the half circle with the straight hand i just don't have much space for filming but a uh, straight hand then you feel the lovely stretch and then you go all the way back and your eyes are following you as well okay so open 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 draw half a circle stop halfway and bring it back and your eyes are always going with you all right with a straight hand so make sure i got some space so this is lovely stretch. You should feel stretch and mobility for this area between your shoulder blades. Really, really tight from us sitting down in front of the computer, telly, driving. When we bring our shoulders forward and bring back. Good job. And we're gonna switch sides. Very important, you don't, let me show, let me tell you this way. We're switching, we're switching, I'll tell you what's important in a minute. So, very important that your hips are not go falling backwards, yeah? So, that's why we're using this block, so you got something to hold on to. So, your he hips are not going back, otherwise you lose this range of motion, gives you this lovely stretch. So, uh, resting our head on the floor, drawing half a circle. Perfect. And bring it back in where we started okay four more times nice circle feet in the stretch eyes are following your hand good and bring it back straight no rush enjoying every moment of that out 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 that's good very well and the last one good and back okay hope you enjoyed that as much as i did nice work okay so now i'm gonna sit on my bum continue to work with our back a little bit more so legs wide knees wide and i'm gonna place my hand on my waist then I'm gonna bring my knees inside my, uh, my elbows inside my knees. Then obviously your hands will be on top of each other, but that's fine. So main move from here, once you got your arms in, you just push in with your knees, your elbows in. Okay, push in with your knees, your elbows in. You breathe, so you should feel this lovely stretch in your back, in your shoulder blades, maybe your shoulders as well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, little rest, nice work. Okay, so I'm gonna get the chair for our next upper body stretch. So you got the chair, you can use also, let's say, a coffee table or sofa, wherever you find comfortable. So we're kneeling right in front of the chair, you got your arms on top of it, tight belly. And from here, you just drop your head here in this little gap between your chair and you and your uh, shoulders, and you just let it go. So your bum remains in the air, and you just let it go. You're just doing some few nice, deep, Breaths. Perfect. Just 
Okay, breathe in, enjoy. This is beautiful chest and shoulder um, stretch. Very good for, again, those who working a lot in front of the desk. Okay, in baby, so doing gym, it's just living life really. <laughs> good for everyone. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, come, come back. Then you got your elbows on top of the chair, like you're about to pray, right? Okay, so this position we start, but we're gonna change the palms position. Position. So I got my right hand on top of my left, and again we do exactly same drill. We sort of diving in. We bring in our, our palms between our shoulder blades, and again with exhale we dropping our chest down and enjoying this lovely stretch. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Carefully get yourself back. And we're gonna just change position. I got my left, left hand at the top. Same drill, and we go down, palms between your shoulder blades. See if you got any difference. Probably the same tight side. and drop your chest down, give it a nice few breaths, five, four, three, two, and one, carefully with your head first, then you undo your arms, bring yourself back, few shoulder rolls, really, really good, okay, so I guess this is us done for a little upper body we'll come back to it uh, at the end of the session for neck uh, stretches but we're gonna move on to our um, hips yeah as I promised so what we're gonna do first I'm gonna bend my mat so I can get into the lunge position okay lunge position long step forward okay Mm -hmm. And with this, with moving my hips forward, I'm just gonna exhale, relax. You guys won't, won't maybe use those blocks for the balance. Okay, so once I drop my hips forward, I'm gonna give it a nice little exhale. And stay here for a bit. Then I'm gonna get my arms up. Find the balance. Right. Lean back a little bit if you can. And breathe. If you're not, just stay. You can even stay with your hands down. Don't need to go, yeah? Adva this is more advanced version when you got your hands up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I got my right leg in front. With my left hand, I'm gonna reach sideways to the side leaning on one block or holding on to the wall perfect five four three two one okay little reset maybe if it's a bit too much of lunges for you and go forward again and also i'm gonna do a little twist so with my left hand i'm gonna push against my right knee and twist myself and get this nice lower back twist as well as hip flexor stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Carefully reset. Sit back a little bit. Maybe you feel like it's too much going on we switch sides so now i'm gonna get my left leg forward Oof. i'm feeling the massive difference between those sides the one is stretched the one is not gently get into deep lunge position so inhale exhale and drop your hip down <coughs> five four three two 
पदवी रिलैक्स नाइस इफ यू फील लाइक यू वॉन्ट एक्सटेंड योर आर्म्स यू गो फॉर इट जस्ट लुक इन स्ट्रेट एट द मोमेंट फोर नाइव फोर थ्री टू वन गुड ड्रॉप लिटल री सेट वी गो अगेन एंड नाव यू गोना Now we're just gonna go sideways. So, got my left hand in front with my right left leg in front with my right hand. I'm gonna reach sideways. Give this extra stretch from the side of your body to your hip flexor as well. Perfect. Back to neutral. Let's do this set. And we're gonna go again into nice little twist. Okay. So finding the balance, pushing against your knee, and looking over your shoulder. Perfect. Keep breathing. Very well done. A few more. Maybe push a little bit more if you want extra twist. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Little reset. Oh, that's good. Nice little sit on your heels. Okay. So for our next stretch, we're gonna get on something soft. You might wanna um, bend. your mat from both sides so that stretch called a frog stretch you might want to have your blocks in front of you all right so you're getting in a wide position with your knees then you have your toes pointing out and your heels in line with your knees looking down so for me it's a straight arms for now then I, i'm gonna go on my elbows So now we're just gonna go like back and forth with your hips, gentle little movements, gentle little movements. Mm -hmm. Back and forth, rocking back and forth. If your knees uncomfortable, use a cushion or roll the mat. It shouldn't be uncomfortable in terms of <laughs> knees. It should be uncomfortable. in your groin area and now we're gonna stop right in the middle so your bum is in line with your knees and we're just gonna chill here for a bit chill relax Okay, see if you can move one one knee a little bit further away. Mm -hmm. Again, if you got someone next to you, you can ask them very, very, very gently to push this or even just place the hand on on your lower back. Because it, you don't need anyone to push there. Maybe just to place the hand, just give it extra little push there and all you need to do here is to relax and deep deep breaths five four three two and one fantastic get yourself up and carefully get your legs back together i i i good sit on your heels Maybe go left and go right of your heels, celebrating your legs being back together. This shows right how tight this area is. Perfect, good, and done. All right, we're gonna get our belt close by, 
I'm gonna sit on your bum. Again, you might wanna use the cushion for, um, for your bum to sit on. Extend our legs wide. Legs are a bit fighting after the stretch to get wide, okay? I also prefer to have my heels on the mat so it's nice and soft. So we're gonna go this way sideways. So with my right hand, I'm gonna try to reach my left leg with me being facing the screen, right? So for some of you, it might be challenging. You might be just here, there, and I'm gonna suggest to use this lovely belt we got. Bring it over your foot. So this is little help, right? So you grab it here, look under, and you just pull ourselves sideways. So what I want you to do is to look under and also look into the ceiling, create this lovely twist. Perfect. Pull a bit more. If you're more advanced and you've done some other stretches before, you can grab your toes if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Carefully go back and we do one more time to the side as well. Exhale. Perfect. So you use the belt or you go with your hand, try to reach your toes. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. Back stretch. Obviously, in this position, your hips are getting some workout as well, and your hamstrings as well. I'm going to really, really pull myself a little bit further with big exhale and wait for another 10 seconds in this position. Five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing, good job. Get the belt out. Nice work, guys. Get your legs back together. Nice little cuddle. Okay. So we got only two big stretches to go, one on each side, and we're nearly done. So to finalize our to finalize our session today. I'm gonna get one knee on something soft, like this, right? Same as we done in the warm up, and extend another leg sideways. Also, get my mat close by. Sorry, my mat, my blocks close by. So knee on something soft, straight leg. Okay, and you extend your leg as wide as you feel like it, and you're just gonna exhale and hold it there. Right, so it depends on your level of flexibility. You might be on the floor or you might be here with me on the blocks. So make sure you got your knee, your bum and your heel roughly in one line. So if you look from the top, it's all in one line, yeah, all in one position. Deep exhale, maybe move your heel a bit further. And we stay here for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Carefully, carefully, carefully. Get yourself back in. Nice little sit on the heels. We switch sides, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, let's try again. Nice little extend of your leg as far as you can get. And we're staying in this position, just breathing. Nice work, stay with me for another 30 seconds. Maybe you don't need the mat or you don't need the block. Five, four, Three, maybe a little bit further, a little bit further. It should be uncomfortable, a little bit. Not crazy painful, but uncomfortable. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Carefully shift your body weight to your knee and get yourself back. Awesome. Sit on your heels. If you go to the right, if you go to the left, I'm sure you're feeling your hips doing this. Awesome. So let's just sit here, relax, and we're gonna do our final little neck stretch. When you bring, uh, grab your head near the temple, gently pull it sideways, feeling this lovely stretch in your neck. And change. Perfect, then you got both hands, tuck your chin in and pull yourself forward. Awesome. All right, so this is us done. Let's get back to standing. The few little shoulder rolls. Twist our knees in. In. Oop. Awesome. Ta da! Thank you very much for joining me for this uh, whole body stretch today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you uh, can subscribe to my channel or follow me, depends which platform you watch it on. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll really appreciate that. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.